If you voted Tuesday, whether you voted Democrat or Republican or third party, you took part in a history-making election. We're excited about being here today, my wife and I, and we're excited about the person that we are voting for today. And hopefully that after the end of tonight, everyone could come together and be happy with each other and we could start a new start in the history of this voting. I think it was a difficult decision this time around. Um, I'm glad I did vote. I have not always voted in the past, but felt the need to do so this time. So I'm glad I did it. You know, a lot of things has been said and I'm looking forward to being able to go in there and vote, you know, to be able to make sure that I can vote again. The sex of the president doesn't matter to me. I don't really care about that. I care about the issues and what they're going to do for me as opposed to what uh, I'm going to do for them by voting for them. So I'm going to vote for the candidate. I voted for the candidate today that I felt was going to do the best job of that. But many Madison County voters, while understanding the importance of their next choice for president, seem very glad to put this election behind them. I think everybody's tired of hearing all the negative all the negative ads and everything. Well, I think that the candidates spend a lot of time talking about how crooked each other can, each candidate was, and I don't think that that's right. And I think they got a lot of fences to mend after this is all over with. I don't. Uh, I think both parties are just as guilty, and I think that uh, they really need to do something about it in Washington right now get all the crooks out, I guess you'd say. i will really be glad when it's over with because it's been really, really messy. Well, obviously I hope to see big changes, um, no matter who takes over. As long as it's for the greater good of everyone else, that's what I want to see. I don't know how long it'll take or how difficult that'll be, but that's the goal.